everybody, I'm back. So today we're going to talk about, this is going to be Dollar Store, Shop Miss A, um, and Five Below. So I wanted to also share some ideas about how you can save your money. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is kind of like stuff that you need, uh, like makeup tools and stuff like that. So here's what I did. I had one of these little containers, right? I bought myself a sponge, has to be cleaned of course, um, from the dollar store, plopped it in there. This I think, one of these is from the dollar store. It might be this one. Got this from the dollar store. So if I'm putting on makeup, if I want to change colors, you're doing it just like the Veramona and you've like, this was a dollar for, for three of these. Um, just pop it in there, clean it, and that saves money, and it's still kind of cute, you know? Get yourself some containers. But these little containers, um, this little sifter, sometimes what I, the reason why I like to have these and some of these smaller containers is because I don't use all the, the, the kind of like loose pigments. I don't use a whole bunch of it. Um, at, like, I'd probably like be 85 years old and still wouldn't be... Uh, through it. So I, then we have this. This is from the dollar store. This is an oil-free daily facial cream with vitamin A. It's by the same people that do uh, Dermasil, that the body lotion I was telling you about. Love this stuff. This is really good. So what I'll do is I'll mix this with the um, Physician's Formula Rose All Day Serum. That's that's oil-free. <coughs> Excuse me. And this is cruelty-free, no animal testing on this, and it's from the dollar store. So I like to put a little bit of this. Uh, before my makeup just so that it kind of absorbs some of the oil and uh, yeah, it definitely works. Love this stuff. So that's that's for that and then also these are some adorable brushes that I got. Three, four of these are from Five Below. So uh, yeah, they work. They work. It's got a nice little kind of a combination of a crease brush, maybe a little bit of a uh, possibly, well not blending, but more like a crease brush. This one will pack some of the color on. And then you could use these as either a blush or a highlighter or contour. And uh, it's super cute. I totally don't need them, but they're so cute I couldn't say no. Maybe I'll talk a little bit more about uh, more Five Below stuff that I've gotten that I just absolutely love. If you see these, these they're called the Funky Fingers, three for five dollars. How cute are these colors? They also have fresh paint, which also are for three for five into like a lot of blues. I just like iridescent. I don't know if you can see it really good, but there's like an iridescence to it. I love that. I like a, like a dual chrome kind of look. Here's a gold one. And I like to use these actually as toppers. So you get a little bit of the shine and also kind of cover some mistakes, which I make a lot of mistakes with my uh, colors. <laughs> and then this is so cute. The Blossom Cuticle Oil. Do I still have it? I also got the Blossom Roll-On Perfume Oil from, from Five Below. I have just, I'm halfway, had it for a while, wonderful stuff. Some more dollar store items that I have are, of course, you got these, these pigments. Like I said, I, I'm never gonna go through all of these, but I have a fantastic thing that I can't wait to show you of a body glow. In fact, so I like to use pigments for like, I think that pigments are great for like doing stuff for the body, like on, you know, on your shoulders, your decolletage, uh, even on your legs. So anyway, dollar store, we have nail polishes, lots of nail polishes, polishes. So I always like to, when I have a little bit of tan, I always like getting kind of like bronzy colors. This one's kind of dollar store you know it's not always going to be perfect but that's kind of like what it looks like so i love a good kind of bronzy color this is the la colors this is in 203 i don't see a name necessarily smolder so if you like bronzy kind of stuff for the summertime check that out this is la colors this is in lush lavender really pretty it looks more silver in the bottle but it does have a little bit more of that lavender kind of a um uh, sheen to it when when you put it on uh, we have some blues beautiful blues so this one is a this is wired LA colors from the dollar store once again this is um, secret dollar store 
I guess I was just going through a blue phase, huh? This is sky high. And you know what? They're not the best quality, but if you, maybe if you get a good topping, uh, top coat, that'll help. But I, if you're like me and you work with your hands a lot, you're always around the house doing housekeeping, it's practically impossible. The only thing that really does work is gel nails. <laughs> I'll be editing that out. So we're gonna talk about Shop Miss A, my new favorite. I've got a little bin of this. Everything here is a dollar. Have these adorable. I also am really into coral colors in the summertime. So I got this. These are LA colors. This is um, What's Up? And this one is Coral Reef. So this one is a kind of a shimmer. I like to top, I like to like combine. So I'll, add, I'll put this sometimes and put this on top because I do like that kind of metallic or iridescent um, affect to it. Or I'll just have this by itself or this by itself. Sometimes if it's not very opaque, then I'll also add some more color to it just to give it that uh, opacity. This is my blush. This is the Malibu Glitz blush. And I was just having fun with it. They kind of remind me of the Milani um, blushes. This color is in pink coral. And it's just got like a pretty shimmer to it. And so this is, I mean, I have a, I, I mean, I really went in there. It's pretty strong, but obviously you can make that a lot lighter. This is like a blush, but I would also say you could almost wear this like a high, as a highlighter. Let's see if I can do it. So that's, ooh, see, yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. Better. Oh, did I mention the color here? This is Frantic Pink. So this is a lighter kind of a shimmer. Can you, yeah, see, right there. <laughs> what can I say? I love shimmer. I'm crazy about shimmer. We have a loose highlighting powder, also AOA. They call it a POW lighter. I can't quite make out the name. Moonbeam. Oh, it's so pretty. It's very messy, but it's a it's a dollar, so. So this is definitely very a lot of fallout to it, but it's so pretty. I would imagine this would look great on the body. This velour highlighter. Yeah, that sparkle stuff is no joke. This has, it's kind of like a, kind of a pasty, putty kind of texture. And that's what it looks like. It's so pretty. We have another highlighter that is a complete mess. It unfortunately came like this, but no complaints. No complaints. It's only a dollar. I tell you what, dollar store, they're... Shop Masse, Dollar Store, all these places, they're stepping up. In fact, they Dollar General came out with its own makeup line. It's, a, from what I understand, it's a billion dollar industry, so it kind of doesn't completely surprise me. Remember those cover effects, highlighting drops? So they, AOA has them, and I just got this mini version. I think these were five bucks, something like that. So, you know, you got a champ, you got a white iridescent champagne. Uh, this is a kind of more pinky, the uh, more deep bronzy kind of colors, more gold, and this is more bronze. Here's Zuri. Zuri used to be a very well-known African-American makeup line. And again, I really like a good, like, corally orange. So that's what that looks like. I've only tried it once. This is the tangerine. Like, what I enjoy about it too. So this is a, this is like an arm bangle, you know? Wear it all the way up there and be like Cleopatra. <laughs> anyway, you get the idea. A dollar, of course. Okay, now I can't get it off. <laughs> okay. Then we have this really cute necklace that I got for a dollar. And you know, a lot of times I just prefer to get them this way because it's going to fade anyway. And why would I want to spend a lot of money on, say, $10, $15? And that's going to end up burnishing and unless you get the real thing. But I can't really afford the real thing. So lastly, I want to tell you about, since I'm growing my hair, 
this is this is also from Shop Miss A. I love this thing. Makes me feel like I can pull back a little bit of my skin. I don't know, maybe I'm just fooling myself. I have all these headbands that I got. Now apparently you can use this like kind of like as a neck thing. You can use it like if you're at Coachella and you're trying to get away from the dust and you just cover yourself or you want to rob a bank. I don't know, just kidding. They have also like, again, Shop Missé, this is like a bandana. These are really cute. These are a bunch of headbands that I got from Shop Missé. Of course, they're all a dollar each. As you can see, I have some more kind of like that bandana kind of fabric. Where is it? Oh yeah, this one. So this one, it's kind of like a, this looks, I think it's more pink, but just the way my lighting is, it looks a little bit more red. But again, it's kind of like one of those things you could wear as a scarf, but I wear it as a headband. And of course you can always get bandanas like these from the dollar store. It's like the cool thing is like if it if something doesn't work out it's okay because you only spent a dollar I saved you a whole bunch of money I hope you enjoy that I forgot to mention these wonderful bronzers and again they did not come in the best condition but what I like is this one I'm always looking for this is might be a little bit too warm but I like something that has more of an olive tone and when you talk about olive tone it's more like it has like a bit of a green which sounds kind of weird but that's what that's kind of like what that olive tone is about. I was looking for bronzers also because if I use something that's a little bit on the orange side, on the warm side, it just makes it just looks orange. It, it looks red orange. It just never seems to work. So I always look for kind of more of a cool bronzer. Here is oh, and this is. This is a Muse highlighter, two-in-one bronzer highlighter. I don't see a name on it. I wish I could tell you the color, but uh, it just says item number KL120 MIX-M-3. This is, let's see if this one is. So this one is Limits bronzer highlighter. This one is M2. So just that long uh, number that I gave for this, this one which ends in three, this one ends in two. And this also is, it's not quite as olive as the other color. Don't think it's as, as warm. I was trying to find something that was not so warm. I like this really pretty, I don't know if you can see that. Huge mess, oh my goodness, <laughs> there's nothing left. So this one is an illuminator, and this is, okay, This so this is the, a little different. This is an illuminator, this, and uh, number KL160MIX2. I, again, apologize, because I they do not have a actual name. Now this one is quite warm, although when I swatch it, it doesn't look as warm, but it has kind of like a more of a goldy hue to it. I'm gonna have to add that to my uh, stuff that I'm talking about with cruelty and vegan makeup and bath and body. 